In this video, I will present two performances of a Sarabande in C major by Jean-Nicolas Geoffroy. I'm planning to make a series of videos about temperaments and I'm considering using this piece as a musical example. This is because despite the fact that it is in the simple key of C major, it contains a couple of colorful harmonic twists that stand out quite prominently when played in quarter comma mean tone temperament. I will discuss this issue in more detail when I post a video about temperaments. For now, let me point them out for you so you can recognize them during the performance. The first commences in the fifth measure of the piece where we shift to a C minor chord and then traverse an imaginative harmonic progression on the way to the dominant G major that concludes the first section. So what happens there in the fifth measure is this. The second one is a chromatic inflection that occurs soon after the beginning of the second section. So that one is this one in particular. And I hope that you could tell that they sound a little bit more flavorful especially because in quarter comma mean tone, half steps are not equidistant. In both performances, the spinet is tuned to quarter comma mean tone, which is what it is tuned to right now as well. In the second performance, however, the middle C and only the middle C, in other words, this C right here, is actually tuned as a B sharp. This is purely experimental on my part and basically a kind of having fun with different harmonic possibilities, although I cannot guarantee that an out of tune octave is going to be fun for everyone. Basically, I was working on one of the future videos I want to make about temperaments and trying out different possibilities for demonstration and I was exploring the difference between tuning three pure major thirds and having to stretch the last of those thirds so that the octave would be in tune. Here is a very brief explanation of what is going on. The reason we need temperaments is because if we tune pure major thirds and pure perfect fifths. In other words, if we tune them according to the simple mathematical ratios in which they occur within the harmonic series, then the octaves will be out of tune, and temperaments are nothing more than different solutions in slightly modifying, or tempering, major thirds and perfect fifths in order to ensure that octaves will be in tune. Now, an octave consists of three major thirds, so if we look at the octave from C to C, for instance, we have C to E, E to G sharp, and G sharp to B sharp. In modern music education, we learn that B sharp and C are enharmonic, which means they may be spelled differently, but they sound the same. However, this is a compromise we have to make, primarily because our keyboards have only 12 keys within an octave. In reality, B sharp is slightly lower than C, and this is the reason that if we tune G sharp to B sharp, as a pure major third, then the octave will be too narrow and will therefore sound flat. In quarter comma mean tone, 
the B sharp is raised to a C, so there is a very wide major third, or more accurately, a diminished fourth between G sharp and C. And if I play it, you can probably tell that it is quite wide. Incidentally, G sharp and A flat are also not enharmonically equivalent. So in quarter comma mute tone, this key is tuned to G sharp and not A flat. So after I had tuned this one C down to B sharp, I tried playing this sarabande just for fun and felt that this solitary B sharp produced some interesting harmonic combinations, which I thought I would share with you. As always, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy the performances.